whoever just joined. Hello. Hi. Hello. How's everybody doing? Fantastic. Fantastic. Hello. Hi. Say that Betty and Tanner were still waiting on Mal. He said he's going to be late. Tyler and Alex now. I recycled the server. If you weren't able to get on, you probably can now. Right. Yep. Attempting result connection to server. Ooh, I like it. I didn't do anything. This is just what came up. Well. Don't know anything about it. I updated like I always do. Ooh. There's a couple new things. There's a new, well, one new icon that I'm trying to understand. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hola. Hey, Alex. Hello. Hey, Tyler. Still attempting to resolve connection. It's not letting me jump. I jumped cancel, it, cancel it out and then try it again. Sometimes you have to do that. What is this symbol? Oh, there we go. Acquiring file list. Huh. Like. Thinking to myself, eh, it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything better. Like, oh, okay. Just need a second. Don't think I like this. It's so background. Dis you dislike it? I dislike it. Yeah. But if you like it, like, yeah, it's great. I have, I have no emotional attachment to it one way or another. I just loaded it up and walked away. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. I don't I've certainly seen worse. I don't know what control I have over it. I got I got control over the background decal. I don't know about the coloration. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it came from. Don't know. The salting my eyeballs. You should find a techie one. There are techie ones, and I'm not opposed to them. I just don't know much about them. No, though I do got lots of options here for background decals. I never really paid attention to what they were. <coughs> Ooh, mud, mud drill. <laughs> so what's new with everyone in the last week and a bit? Uh, not, not much. Whole, not a whole lot for me. Just uh, work and sleep. Pretty much it. Got into my program. Yay! Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Nice. Nice job. All that studying paid off. Oh, yeah. Definitely did. So when do you start? Like, uh... Like next uh, week or something? Or yeah. Like... Yep. Day after Labor Day. Same as everybody cool. else. Hot Thanks. dog. Cool beans. Yeah, pretty excited. Ooh. I'm wondering if I can share a picture in the Discord to my phone. Should be able to. We shall see, because we got some uh, pretty interesting news this week. Uh, 
pregnant. I thought it. I was just going to wait. I don't know. I wasn't going to say anything. I thought it. I was just going to wait. Nah, I'm not like that. Tanner's too impatient. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're we're expecting. Nice. Awesome. Hey, congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. Hey, a friend of mine recently announced his engagement to his girlfriend today. So. Exciting. So I'm like, hey, yeah, congrats, bro. Just out of curiosity, I'm like, uh, you know, not that this is any of my business, but how long have you been dating again? He was like, a year ago as of today. I'm like, oh, okay. Boy or girl? Sorry? Oh, um, he's getting married to a girlfriend of his. <laughs> so. Oh, you were talking about to Tyler. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say anything. Uh, I mean, just... We don't know yet. Fair enough. Are you going to find out? Yeah, we're going to find out probably in the next ultrasound, which is 18 to 20 weeks. So oh. five more weeks from now. Oh, we are going to find out now. Oh, oh my God. Mm. You're going to find out. You just don't know if you're going to know. Well. This promise us you won't burn down half the countryside when you reveal the gender. Uh, no, no, no plans to do that. Yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Country's already half burned down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Canada is on fire, yo. Fair so enough. Maui. Well, I mean, I, if you want a test drive, I got a 15-year-old who's a twat. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's different when it's your kid. Yeah, thanks for the offer, though. <laughs> <laughs> he started, he's driving constantly now because his, uh, He's got his permit and his test is in March, so I'm making him drive. And he he likes to hook up his phone to my uh, car because the rule is whoever the driver gets to pick the music. Shotgun and he, and he, shuts the skate hole. So he hates my wife's music, so he loves driving. But when he hooks his phone up, when he gets a text message, it pops up. And I don't know who the girl he's named Giggles in his phone is, but it, <laughs> it, turns, it turns red when her texts pop up. Hilarious. Awkward. That's great. But we're going to dive in, let Mal catch up. I don't see any way for me to change this obnoxious redness. That hurts Tanner's eyes. I will see. I will see what, what it even is. I don't even know it, honest. It, I'm just... It, my it's only fine. Guess, my guess is the third party theme I use hasn't been updated but Fantasy Grounds update invalidated it so it reverted to the default Fantasy Grounds and that's what this is. It's just a guess. I have no idea. But we are going to <clears throat> dive in. So if you don't have the map, some of you do, four of you do, and now five of you do. So we're going to dive in. If you don't recall, a short recap, as you will see that we now have a battle of two fronts going on. The uh, battle here is going to be between the spellcasters in the back, or is, in the matriarch there, and some foot soldiers in the front room around the gate. So that looks like it is going a couple different ways. We're going to see how it finalizes. I think the spellcasters were holding their own pretty well. We'll start with a little bit of sound effects there. We left off. It was I believe just coming to Estrella's turn. Uh, I, believe I didn't make a mark like I normally do. So we'll just go with, if it wasn't, then you just get two turns, but I'm 90% sure you had to take your turn. Um, I, just of note, though, we have Nauka with Exhaustion, level deuce. Oof. And I added the stairs there. They don't have any effect. 
Um, okie dokie. Well, I don't have any spells left, so what I will do is I will. I'm too close to use my boat, my bubble. I'm gonna do shillelagh then on my staff as my bonus action. And then I'm gonna smack uh, Clavin Foot Soldier number 10 with my staff. Hey, -o. eat sticks. Yay! You can eat sticks, bitch. Eat that stick. Nice. Stick. And then now that he's dead, I will go around. Oops. I will go to there to give it advantage for Nalka. Alrighty. Well. Guess what I'll do? I'll actually move up to here. So I'm within range. Uh, between the two, Nalka and Arthanis, which one looks most the soon? Uh, probably Nalka. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my last remaining spell slot to not go with the Cure Wounds. Bad. Well, it's about as best as I'm probably gonna be able to get that. And, um, slightly just kind of position myself up a bit, so... Actually... Yeah, okay, that'll work. Alright, this Clavin Foot Soldier knows he is going down. He hasn't been hit yet, but he knows it's gonna be a rough one. Using that battle axe, he is doing its very best to swing it. Using one handed, he is taking a swing at Nalka. Oh, what is that symbol? Oh, and he brings it in an overhand chop with one hand, making it a 1d8, and bringing that claw around towards Techno, slashing but missing. Nauka is up, and you are, they are not currently prone, so you are good to go, but you are exhausted, so your speed is halved, bear that in mind. That's an all character. Is he raging? I, I yep. guess he's raging. Still has rage on. Voice. Get him to do the old stabby stab. I guess so. Stabby and hack with axe. Is usually what Nalka does. And don't forget that advantage. That sweet mm -hmm. advantage. Nauka? No, it's Malachi. He's not in yet. Oh, my apologies. I just realized that. <laughs> I was going to be like, who's this is she? You do me. To... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantasy dark theme. Eddie just sent me a cool theme. Huh. I'm going to send that to everybody, Eddie. See what people think of it. up now because sheet <clears throat> take a look at that theme Eddie found I like that it. that yeah. actually is pretty cool I like that cool man 
to see if I can find some more options, but so far that's the only one I've found. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy doing it. All right, now because taken quite a couple hits, not prone, wounded, raging. So let me check out their sheet. I would guess hand axe is about all they got, right? From what I see, javelin hand and hand axes. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, hand axe it is. I think they like attacking with their offhand too. That's yeah. What I'm seeing here. Oh, I rolled it as a throne. That was my bad. But it's still strength. And with the offhand, double still hit. Getting advantage because of. Yes, indeed. And okay, we cool. Will do the offhand with advantage. All right, double hit from Nauka dealing first seven then five damage Ray. doesn't look it looks like it was partially resisted so it went dropped it to three and two I'm gonna skip Mars because all right the matriarch up here is matriarching and it has been attacking Hazel and Andretta back and forth it's going to continue to do so, starting with a, a bite towards Hazel, as it has him backed into a corner. And she snaps those mandibles around Hazel. Holds that concentration check, though. Oh, no. Oh, that's for my dancing lights. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is indeed. But that constitution saving throw, not so much. No! Oh, oh actually, hold on two seconds. Can I use my Tides of Chaos to roll that saving throw again? You can. Or it's, well, with advantage, but same thing. So roll it again with advantage? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. We'll call that a success then. Cool. Give me two seconds. I need to adjust because you take half damage. I just have to click the hat before I drop it on you. Uh, ah! mm. Ouch. I didn't die, though. If I, if I took the full damage, I would have been dead. True. And that second attack is again aimed at Andretta as it snaps those mandibles around and biting at her. She also fails the saving throw. Oh no. And that poison hits her full on. She is poisoned. And that makes her having a relatively bad day as this matriarch is fighting to the best of its ability. I'm going to um, assume that the fight in this room is well in hand, so I'm going to move past into the next room. Arthanis, help us. I'm coming. <laughs> and upon getting in the room, I'm going to cast... Uh, Hexblade's Curse on the Matriarch here. And my light uh, shining from my, my morning star will illuminate um, the Matriarch as well. That's a, that's a hell of a call out, uh, Ben. I haven't, <laughs> that's a good movie. <laughs> That Kung Pao quoting is always fun. And then, uh, do I have advantage on this attack, Tony, with Hazel being there or no? You would. Absolutely. Well, that sucked. Uh, bonus action, action. That's going to be my turn. 
Well, dang. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this guy's trying to grab me in his mandibles. I'm gonna try and stab him with, in the eye with my dagger. And I, it's, he got advantage, I get advantage. You do. Come on, stab. Nope. I'm not good with I'm not good with the daggers. Athanas! Please help! I That's can't it. apparently. Cash is going to run up here. And she's going to attack the Claven Foot Soldier. She's going to swing her rapier at it. Oh, that's nice. a way nice. 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 Yeah. Get that sneak attack crit. Right. Oh my god. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking two eights. Oh, in shit. particular. <laughs> Fuck that Clavin specifically. <laughs> right. Man. And then she will run up here. Kashu, help us. I will do what I can. Good morning. Okay, Kazu is very angry that the spider is hurting his friends. Attack with that firebolt. And okay, apparently not. Okay. No hitting for Kazu, then I guess. Andrada, help us. So welcome, Mal. And Dreda is poisoned, so she's not super happy about this. She's going to continue to rely on her magic because that's all she has. She's going to use the shocking grasp against the creature, giving advantage from flanking, but disadvantage from being poisoned, so at least they nullify each other. She does hit and send that lightning arcing up and down the matriarch's carapace. <clears throat> she stays in the fight despite only having one hit point left. Hey, so I'm gonna have to give away a lot of health potions after this fight. It's a good thing I have plenty. Okay, so I'm first gonna back up to about there. And then Down I'm going and to... Target this motherfucker, and I'm gonna use my starry form archer arrow. Mm, balls. Okay, I'm gonna use produce flame as my bonus action. <laughs> hey, that's better. And oh no, I forgot. Huzzah! Huzzah, indeed. One. That's my turn. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just stay where I am. My one crossbow with my repeat dot in. Take an aim and I almost thought that was a miss there for a second. Ooh. Bang bang. Not much else I could do from here though, so Hello, yes. Yay! Alka's here. Indeed. Just in time. Um. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Nalka is going to throw an axe. That's what they're going to do. Okay. 
and then as a bonus action, they're going to drink a health potion and stay where they are. Like one is want to do. I accidentally healed the matriarch with that health potion. We'll fix that. And your hit points go down by eight, and that is fixed. The matriarch is taking hits every which way. And the matriarch is going to attack Arthanis with its mandibles as he runs up. And he's going to take the bite damage, the poison damage, and be poisoned. Oh, well. Now that those damages have dropped off. Yeah, I'm dragging him over. That was my fault. I forgot to target you. Motherfucker! Oh, no. And, and we'll put the poison on there because it is relevant. The next attack is going to be aimed at Hazel with a miss. And as a bonus action, the matriarch seems to hunker down for a second and its entire carapace begins vibrating. And the vibration carries up to its multifaceted eyes provoking a saving throw from any creature who has been poisoned and is uh that makes two of you and that is Arthanis and Andretta the effect is well not really <laughs> too much for Arthanis but Andretta freezes and she is incapacitated and mesmerized by the appearance of this creature's carapace glistening. Arthanis, you would be, but you're unconscious. All part of my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, after taking the damage from that last hit, I sh should have rolled beforehand before I attacked, but it didn't matter. Uh, Hazel's skin darkens once again as Mars appears in his place. Let me swap you two out. Putting Hazel. You go ahead and take... Well, make sure to transfer over that damage for you. Yeah, I could, yeah. And mage armor effect, and you're good to go. Perfect. Alright. And... Yeah. He will just go with a... Shocking grasp. Probably making some snide notes about how you're all pathetic <laughs> once again and how he <laughs> hates being in this situation. I just can't think of anything clever at the sec at this moment. And you can't take reactions. Yeah, fuck you. And I'm assuming that doesn't have metal armor. Cool. That's his turn. Right. Cash is going to take out one of the plus one arrows that we found. Mm -hmm. And send it flying towards the uh, house black matriarch. And miss on an arrow that sucks. All right. Okay. Hopefully I don't miss this time. Eat fire. 
I jinx myself. It happens. That's, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Armed with one hit point. Poor Andretta. She is stunned and incapacitated. Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. Starry form archer arrow. Bitch. Get it. Okay, okay. I still have my produced line. Ooh, that one's out. I just realized I think these probably should have been at advantage, but okay. Oh no, wait, it's me they only. Just kidding. Never mind. Well, it's at critical damage, so. Good luck, friends. May the odds be ever in your favor. And indeed. I certainly hope so, because I'm. Notching another crossbow bolt and letting him loose right between the eyes. Bang! Which set? Uh, the foremost ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nauka is going to. Drink another health potion. As a bonus action. And then they're going to run over here and hit that guy. Haha! -ha. Nice. nice. Yay! <laughs> I Didn't thought he was going to an advantage. All right. I don't see anybody else in the so <laughs> that hand axe manages to finally lodge in that crystalline carapace, and the creature Nelka hammers starts the uh, crossbow bolt into its forehead deeper, and those cracks begin to spread as it begins fracturing the crystalline carapace. Finally, shatters in a spray of gore. Um, am I able About to time. retrieve my arrow, the plus one arrow, since it didn't hit him? Am I able to retrieve it? Broken. You, you can roll a percentile dice. There is a 20% chance to recover. Okay. So, 1 to 20 or 80 You're to 100? As long as you call it before you roll it, I don't care what it is. Low. Fuck. Alright. Tis what it is. Should I start going around the room and healing people with potions? Yeah, I'm already at uh, Arthanus and putting a potion in his mouth. And I will do a potion of healing. How do I drop it? Mars is dusting himself off and saying, I do not require assistance at this time. Thank you. I think you do. Don't be no. so stubborn. I have my own. Fine. Stay away from me. Fine. I'll heal Andretta. Is she still charmed? She is not. I'll have to remove that. Okay, her. couple seconds I was turning on that news I downloaded a bunch of sound effects that I've been trying to get to for a while she is not incapacitated she is not charmed and she is not poisoned and I will remove it from Arthanis poisoned and there we go. everybody's effects are now happy thank you Astraea would you like another I got more too no I'm 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 I have my own if need be thank you is there anybody who does want a potion? Sam, good. I've got at least two on my own. 
I'm okay, thank you. Does Andretta need this. another potion? Yes, I think Nalka's correct. If, um, I don't know if we want to step back into this room and close the door behind us and attempt to arrest of sorts. Hey, Tony, somehow my max hit points got changed. Hiccup? What should they be? Definitely not that. <laughs> well, if you don't have toughness, you're... No, I don't. And it's always the average, so... So D8 plus con is 12, or 10, and then D8 plus 1 plus 2. It's going to be 4, 7, 17 is what you should have. I think that's right. It is according to my math. So, I got the sound effects thing going. Everything is moving. And what are you guys wanting to do? I heard some discussion, but no final decisions. Did the, um, the Claven have anything? So the Claven had, <clears throat> when you look over the Claven, they had four battle axes, obviously, some more of those rifles. They had a total of 17 of those mysterious projectiles, the spurs. I'm working on putting those on the sheet right now. There were 24 on there. Yeah, we'll definitely take the spurs. I don't know about uh, yeah, Spurs will definitely be. I put it up to 41, and they had two potions of healing. Um, hey. Uh, does anybody want those, or do you just want me to put them on the sheet? Like, if you already have them, you're going to increase the number. I can just let you do that, but... I'm fine. If somebody else wants else. them. Yeah, I still have three or so. So. I have six. Somehow. Well, I have now put two on the party sheet. I'll let you guys sort that out as you see fit. I'll go ahead and I'll take 18 of the spurs, so you can go ahead and reduce that down to 23. I have zero potions of healing now. Same. You need more potions. I will take um, one of those. Do we know if we have a time limit on this portal being stabilized? It's not stabilized, this problem. Yeah, but do it's we not have open. to leave before something happens? I don't remember, I've suffered a few blows to the head. I'm gonna take 12 spurs, Tony. Last I remember, it was just a matter of finding a way of stabilizing it, which we might be able to figure out, but we still need to find something that the leader of these guards seem to have. Okay. Long story short, no, I don't think there's a time constraint. I, I do wonder if that hmm, bubble shield thing in the other room, if it will hold... As yeah, it has been. Whatever we need to do to fix the portal, we have to do it relatively quickly, I think, because there is the worry that that shield is going to fail. Right. Then I can wait. Let's uh, keep going. Maybe we, we can take a short rest. If anyone needs a short rest. I think perhaps at least that, yes. Mm hmm. Nice. Let's do it. Oh, 
I do not require it, but I understand you weaklings need a rest from time to time. I get it, you're broody. Stop. You needed a potion. Just like the rest of us. It was because I took damage that I do not remember. You're so weak, a simple knock to the noggin makes you forget. <laughs> and he just runs away. <laughs> He's gone. Gone forever. What do you guys want to do? Did we do our short rest? I, I wanted, didn't know if that was for sure what you wanted to do before I clicked it. I think uh, so. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, you, I have applied a short rest. You guys take your short rest. The... Uh, hit dice are yours to use if you have any left at the bottom of the main tab of your character sheet if you have any there mm -hmm. you can click them and it will heal you if you're at full life you don't need to use them it's a good resource I wouldn't use them if you I'm feel good I think During a short rest, I'd um, I just like look at Nalka and say, Nalka, I've noticed you um, are limited in your arsenal at the moment. Yes, a little bit. Would you like to make use of this? And I'll like hand the Morning Star over to them. I'll swing it around. Yes, I think this could be helpful. Thank you. Well, by all means, it, it appears to be quite the effective weapon. I do and have an I would think you'd, you'd bring um, more effective use to it than me. And I do have an extra hand axe if you want that. I think I have plenty. Okay. Thank you. Is that on your sheet, Nalka, or are you good? I do not have it on my sheet yet. Yeah, I just yes. put it in the uh, the party sheet. What's it called again? Morning Star plus one. Don't see it. Uh, it yes, should be at the it. top of oh, the, the party very sheet. top. Yes, of course. The tip, hidden tip, tippity top. Hidden from my eyes. Oh, we're only halfway there. Oh, uh... Living on a prayer. <clears throat> Indeed. Oh, Maybe Mars that. came back. It has come to my attention that I am not always in control of this body due to missing time and the way that you treat me sometimes. Stop. Stop. Tell no. the other guy that he's a fool and to stop damaging my perfect body. I will not do that. He is our friend. Get me wrong, I need him alive to keep me alive. We'll take care of him. He's fine. Understood. <laughs> well, um, now that's out of the way. Uh, are we ready to move? Mm-hmm. Yep, I think so.
as you move down this hallway, you see a door to your left and an alcove to your right, as well as some ahead opening up to the left and right. I'm gonna check a little alcove over here first. Oops, that was the wrong one, but same bonus. That was supposed to be stealth. So, uh, as you move into what appears to be this empty alcove, you are able to discern a breeze. As you look around, you see a metal object that appears to be nestled among a set of cones above you in the ceiling, producing a steady stream of air. The air is cool and refreshing. Interesting. Is there anything else in this little area? Is there is there a way to climb up to where the air is coming from? It would be a check athletics. Okay. Can I do acrobatics? Sure. To like, you know, jump off one wall, <laughs> jump off the other wall. You can. Go ahead and give me that to check, please. Uh, okay. Oops. I fall. <laughs> you don't make it, but you don't fall. Okay, I want to try again. Okay, real quick. <clears throat> Roll a perception check, Mars, please. Perception. That oh is boy. a 11 with <laughs> my passive. <laughs> Oof. So, you... Well, let's, have, let's do this. Everybody roll initiative. Uh-oh. But well, why, Tony? Because <laughs> my token's locked. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the token was locked. He was like, oh, no. Yeah, I tried to, like, come back, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> my gosh, we all rolled so bad. I will roll for Andretta. Can I just click? Boo. Dreda came out with a 20. <clears throat> All right. So, Kashut, did you do your second check? Not yet. You told me to hold. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss it and all the dice. Go ahead and roll your second check real okay. quick. And we'll use that on your turn. So, you do get up there. You're now up there. Is there anything inside there? Can I, like, see inside there where the air is coming out of? It looks like a tube. Um, same material, semi-organic, rigid, uh, you know, it's got a coating of kind of pulsating uh, biological organic material, uh, while the inside is more rigid, hardened. Might still be organic, you don't know, but it's less fleshy and more rigid, and it's blowing out air as you are up there. You can tell that it is clean, fresh air, more akin to like a morning breeze as opposed to room in a stale cellar. If I were to compare it to the lower level as opposed to this. Interesting. Okay. Well, I will jump back down then. Okay. So when you move into this room, this alcove there, Mars, you see metal shelving units containing crates and shell uh, tools, supplies. A lot of them are quite pedestrian and two creatures that are hunkered down on the edges of this room jump out and attack you. 
damn it. As you uh, cross into their territory, they lash out. The first one jumps out and makes a bite attack at you, snapping its fangs as you cross in and gets a solid bite on you, but not enough to uh, get a hold of any fleshes. It gets more robe than it does meat, but it does get a solid bite. Now, the flesh on its back opens up and once the, the flesh on its back opens up, it swings two tentacles out. The first one swings forward, hits you in the chest, and when it does, you fall prone. And that second tentacle swings downward at advantage as you are now on the ground. Fuck. And hits you in the head. Your head slams backwards against the ground, knocking you unconscious. Uh, okay. Uh, strength of the grave. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, when my damage reduces me to zero hit points, I make charisma saving throw, DC 5, plus damage taken. So that was 6 that knocked me unconscious, so that's 11. So, down to one hit point. Nice. I would definitely say that uh, you beat that one. Let me remove this, this, uh, I gotta put the prone back, but I removed the unconscious. Um, as this is a surprise round, I'm gonna go through. And I got your hit points. Oops, that's my max. Oops, there you go. Okay. I was like, wait, that's backwards. And Dreda is surprised. Hey, I'm gonna move her over because I wasn't keeping up with her. I'll just put her with the bulk of the group. She isn't able to take an action this round, but she is no longer surprised. Keshu, you hear Mars or a voice sounding similar to Mars, let out a screech as he falls. Okay. This second kind-hearted wolf-looking creature leaps out and bites Mars. Yeah, now I'm done. You sure? Do you get another one? Or is it just uh, one time? Don't, I think it's just the one time. Hold on, let me just double check. Can't use it again until a long rest. So, yeah, no, I'm done. Curse you, Hazel. So weak. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, that bite at seven damage was pretty vicious. And right as you started to go unconscious, Mars, you were able to visualize some strange looking semi-ethereal maggots writhing in the wound. They were kind of fading in and out of uh, reality. And then you pass out. What the fuck? Okay. And Nauka, unfortunately, you are also surprised because you were not aware of these creatures, but they were aware of you as Mars was not stealthing. I actually was. Oh, well. Not stealthing well enough. How's that? I should That's fair enough. <laughs> stealthing, not stealthing well enough to be. Uh, the 14 was good from earlier, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Being, being <laughs> wolves. And the creature charges forward. Upside for Nauka, it had to move more than its allowable speed. Ooh. And so everybody else goes through, and we will bounce this back up to the first round. Mars, you are 
at your first, I just threw it back up. Now, nobody is surprised this round as the creatures move forward. <clears throat> Nauka, you do notice that these creatures are uh, two different types. This one right here is what appears to be a smaller version. I can signify that on the map here and see if I can shrink him. Where the other ones are larger versions, and you obviously have seen these before, and the ones you saw before were of the smaller variety. So these seem to be the bigger versions. As it moves forward, it is able to attack you. First with a tentacle coming out from the flesh of flaps on its back. The first one missing, the second one missing, and that bite coming in with a crit. Oh! Glad you like that there. And a constitution saving throw for a success. So you also catch from these larger versions some shadowy maggots that are semi-ethereal, partially transparent, they kind of fade in and out. And you shake your arm in fear as you see them, and they either fling off or fade out. You're not sure which happens, but you know it's probably better that they not be there. And Dreda, that's going to be a... 25 foot movement and the first thing Andretta is going to do is attempt to cast sleep because she has a spell slot and putting creatures to sleep is always better than fighting them I don't there we go so 5d8 let's see can't see the total because the dice 27 <laughs> and so this one is number 13 and she puts the alpha directly next to Nauka to sleep she stays back. One, because she can't move, and two, because fuck that noise. Alright, Cash is gonna run out of the alcove hearing the sound. Sounds of combat. Mm -hmm. We move me real quick, thank you. Um, do I see 13 asleep? You do. You see her casting the spell in the creature's head lull and it kind of slump okay i will focus on the other kata then i will fire the spur rifle at it nice nalka is still up correct yep okay good times Nice. Yeah. All right. All right. And that's all I can do. All right. For those of you using the spur rifles, which sound effect do you like better? Or? I'm good either way. What's it more akin to? It sounds more akin I mean, to it. It's more akin to the second one. Yeah. And then that's the one I would go with. I have to set it up. I'm not gonna be able to set it up tonight, but I'm starting to piddle with that. Alright, so the second alpha having dealt with the interloper who invaded its right. space. Like walks over Mars. 
a paw like scraping his face. Takes an attack at Nauka because first target, best target. <clears throat> Takes a bite and then a constitution saving throw. And then those flesh flaps come out. And the first one swings across Nauka, hitting them in the chest, knocking them prone. And play. Then it moves here and it uses its last attack to attack its ally and misses it. This smaller version makes its way forward and smacks its ally with its tentacle and misses max its ally with, with another tentacle and manages to hit it. And the creature is awoken. Took six damage, but it is awake. I woke up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good news. That is, Nauka, you unfortunately lost that turn, but you are now up, so. Yeah. Oh, nice. On the scale of how it could have went. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Well, time to throw some more fire. Okay. Bad doggy. Aww. Fire's not working, guys. And I guess that's all I can do. Okay. Firefly. Okay. Has it been ten minutes since the last fight? No, no, it's probably not been that long. Maybe nice. five minutes. Well, we had, oh, no, we had the short rest, right? Oh, yeah, shit. Okay. Oh, so oh, then I did a wild shape. Right, okay. you do have your wild shape back. I, I forgot about the short rest, to be honest. Good catch. But wild shape back helps, too. Okay. I'm going to do a um, bonus action and use my wild shape to do the archer again. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna throw an arrow. Man. Alright, that's all I can do for this turn, I guess. Actually, I guess I'm, I'll just slightly move to here, just so I'm out of the way of the. Um. But I can still see. Well, I was gonna move there, but that's all right. I'll just go ahead and I'll just take the space you were previously occupying instead. And uh, I will just go ahead, notch a crossbow, take a pot shot. Peace. Guess I'll just stand my ground then. A couple steps, a couple steps. Step one, apply armor of Agathis to self. Step two, use bonus action to cast Hexblade's Curse on Atka Alpha 1. Step four, move Curse in you just see. a bit. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, go ahead. Just move to there, yeah. Oh, you didn't like that I cursed him. I see, I see. No, he said he no said curse to you. Ha! 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 Now, unfortunately, I have literally everything I can, so that's my turn. Alright, this Akata is awake. It is unaware 
that Nauka is awake. And it begins moving forward. Uh, give me a second. I don't think I used her hit point recovery, which isn't fair to her. She is... I don't think I used hers. Um, it's not attacking her. It's attacking uh, Arthanis, but on the short rest, so I'll drop her hit points by three. All right, so now the actual attack. So this Akata moves up and swings that tentacle trying to hit Arthanis. Is there anything I should know about your, about armor? your armor? Not enough. I mean, so it's going to take five cold damage for hitting me, but... Well, there you go. I'll let you apply the cold damage. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, not that that was very helpful. <laughs> it knocks you prone before biting at you. So, you see the same shadowy, semi-ethereal maggots that everybody else has been seeing, but... Uh, you shake them off in the same manner. The indomitable Andretta, she is unsure whether you guys would prefer that she look towards putting them back to sleep to make them have to wake each other up or attack. Sleep. Mm-hmm. Sleep. She uses, she uses her last level one spell slot and tries to put them back to sleep as they are now weakened, hopefully. Still can't see it. 17. Which one, if any? And number 13 goes back to sleep same one All right. she doesn't move out of the way but she did scoot over so Kashuk can get in right. so 13 is asleep though right that is correct this one so we don't want to wake him up <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Looks like and the regular Arcada and is, is grown too. Just okay. so. The regular Arcada looks to be damaged more. So we might be able to pick him off. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him. Get him. Ah. No getting. There's been no getting. And then she's going to move up here. Takata is looking down at Arthanis and snaps those fangs out trying to bite and clamps on to Arthanis's throat and rips a chunk of flesh out. Before stepping over and swinging a tentacle at Andretta. an attack of opportunity from Andretta uh, if she has a melee weapon I don't think she does no she doesn't uh, 
Kazu offered a dagger and she turned it down. Yeah, she didn't know. She's not the smartest. They are ganging up on her and surrounding your allies, little by little. Is Nalka able to get a attack of opportunity on the small guy? She, yeah, they can if they want. So far, they think she's down. Gotcha. Nalka is going to continue to pretend to be dead <laughs> for a little bit longer. And speak of the devil. Their turn is up right now. They are going to disengage. Oh, they don't have to disengage, do they? No. They do not. They're going to I crawl, to crawl away. Now. I took prone off. I didn't know if you were standing up, but. Uh, they have 15 feet of movement, so they are just going to crawl over there. Okay. Um, and. Let me see. Pour a potion of healing down Mars's throat. Is that I can take an action to do that, correct? Yes, and it would be max. Perfect. Then we're doing that. And I'll put that prone back on you. Because you are correct. Your speed is hacked. All right, and uh, in that case bonus action, Nalka will activate that uh, bestial form, get those temporary hit points and that bonus AC. <laughs> Alright. Well, since fire doesn't work, I'm gonna use a crossbow on the little guy. Goodness, why are we rolling bad tonight? <laughs> oh, it's Mars's turn. Alright, Mars, you are now alive. Prone, and the creatures that attacked you are gone, but you hear the noise of them ahead, and that Nauka is laying next to you, and they are severely bleeding. But be steel. Same time. Be steel. Yes. Nice. Mars will get up, dust himself off, reluctantly say thank you. Un under his breath, like you barely can hear it. <laughs> Uh, half speed to get up, and then he'll just... Eh, I don't know if I can see anybody from over here. Can once I hit move. Perfect. <laughs> As you say thank you, Nelka weakly raises a thumb. <laughs> Master, like, face down <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> How does this acid splash work again? It's just five... It's in five feet. And I can choose it. Two creatures. Use one creature and see... Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll choose both those guys and use an acid splash on them. You shall know my fury. Heads up. Before, uh, uh, and I can adjust it if need be. This one was asleep. I didn't know if Mars, um, no. if you missed no, that. Probably wouldn't have known, wouldn't have cared. Noted. But acid does work and did full damage. Perfect. That's his turn. Drea, your stick might be in high demand soon. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Um. Okay, from where I'm at, I'm gonna do this guy first. Motherfucker. Okay, 
Yeah, after that, I'm going to cast Shillelagh as my bonus action, and I'm going to move up to about here. Then and that's side it. by side. Yeah, that'll have to be my turn, because I already used my action to do the arrow, but I'm ready. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, just I take my crossbow and hopefully, uh, oh, finally, all right. Yeah. Full damage. Yeah, full damage on that one. Hell yeah. There you go. That's how you do it. That gives you Ooh. one death oh, save. Oh no! Yeah. Oh. The oh, alpha. Death failure. Yeah. Having woken up, the creature stands fully and smacks Andretta with that tentacle, trying to knock her prone, and succeeds. And once she goes down, it jumps forward on top of her and takes a attempted bite and successful and rips flesh off her throat. Oh, our friend. Moves forward to here. Andretta is bleeding out. With one death save. Cashute. You're hurting them, but they are hurting you too. Even more so. Alright. Sprite is rounds going are a to bitch. swipe out with her rapier. Attempt to pierce the Akata. Is the little one able to, uh, is the little one able to do the flesh flap tentacle thing? Yes, but it, it, it isn't able to knock creatures prone. It just uses it as a weapon head to damage. I see. Um, it might be time to shift focus. So far, you've dealt almost the same amount of damage to all three of them. <laughs> Right, well, we will attack this one. Oh my god, that fucking four. <laughs> Our dice hate us tonight. Um, and with that, um, Kashut is going to Starlight Step back here. Ada turns and moves backwards. First, starting to attempt to knock Mars off his feet, dealing damage. And then going in for the bite. As he knocks Mars off his feet and dives on to him to bite at his throat, the magical armor protects Mars, just keeping those fangs a fraction of an inch away from his throat. Fuck yeah, mage armor. The smaller Akata moves forward with its Tentacle slaps Astraea and tries to bite at Techno. Misses with the bite, but manages to leave a area of spiky, rended flesh 
on Astrea. Rude. All right. Nalika's gonna get up, and as they're getting up, they're gonna rage, and then they're going to hurl a javelin with a wreck. Can I do reckless attack on ranged attacks? I don't know. Yeah. I yes. think you should. I think it is. Then they're going to reckless attack, throw a javelin at the Akata, and then probably fall back on the ground. <laughs> That should have been an 8. Or, wait, no, that should not have been a disadvantage. That's what it is. It is huh. a dis uh, exhaustion level 3. Re disadvantage but countered all. by reckless attack. It should have been. Let's see. Go ahead and just re-roll it. We'll see what we get. I'm looking at your stuff now. Alright, I will. Uh, uh, reckless attack reads only on melee. Oh. But go ahead. Go ahead and re-roll it. I'm gonna look into it right now. There we go. Alright. Okay. Here comes the crossbow. Nice. Finally, I hit it. <laughs> oh. Oops. Uh. Okay. Next. You damned mutt. Might as well say, as he stands up. And reach out with a crackling lightning hand, Dr. Grasp. Oh, fuck yes. Yes! Nice. Amazing. Fucking get some. You can hear the tide turn. This bitch. Just kidding. We hear flesh sizzle. <laughs> and he'll move up a little bit. Actually, he go, he'll go all the way. Since that worked so well. Yeah. And that will be his turn, because he can't do anything else. Okie dokie. Um, first, as my... Ooh, he's flanking! Yeah, as Thanks. my bonus action, I guess I'll take disadvantage. Um, I will use my, whatchamacallit? What the fuck is it called? My arrow. arrow. Yeah, yeah, my brain just stopped working. <laughs> and... Just because I don't want to risk it. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna go here and step over and I'll take the opportunity attack if they take them. The creature attempts to take them with its bite. Let's see what it does, if anything. Please miss. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm still up. That's okay. And I'm gonna, as my action, I'm gonna force a uh, potion of healing down Arthanus' throat. Noted. It's not great healing, but there you go. And that's my turn. All right, I'm going to shift tactics a little bit. I'm actually going to go into melee, uh, positioning a dagger in between uh, middle and fourth finger of my hands. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to punch this thing. Yo. Let's 
Kind of surprised that. Kind of surprised that actually worked. <laughs> Thanos, you are prone, but you are now healed. At least a little. Thank you. I'll stand up. Is, is uh, that actually you can, is Hexblade's curse concentration? Yeah, well, no, but it goes away when I'm incapacitated, so. Fair enough. Yeah. So I'll get up and then I will uh, kind of step over Astrea. Or not Astrea. Um, Andrea. Andrea, thank you. Fill in that space. And then I will take an attack at the little dog. These fucking dice. Oh my god. I feel like they've been fucking us this whole campaign so far. <laughs> they really have. Uncouth swine. Except when I get the odd crit, which is nice. That's it. Have we been playing that um, potion of healing as a bonus action? It, it's a bonus action if you drink it. Full action for Matt. Or, I'm sorry, bonus action if you roll it. Full action gets you a, a full max. I'll drink and take what I can, yeah. That's a bonus action. Hey! I mean, yeah, that'll, that'll be my turn. Fuck you, I do what I want. Yeah. Alright. The Akata Alpha is not appreciative being surrounded like this. And it is going to start off with the tentacle slap at Mars. Smacking him. Knocking him down. Six. Then turning and biting at Arthanis but missing. Andretta is Andretta-ing. She is laying. She has one failure. She has one success. And Kashut. Alright, Kashut is going to move here and swing at the Akata with her rapier. Oh, yeah. It was enough. Yeah, that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> all right. And that is all she can do. All right. All right. Uh, now it becomes staggering around the corner <laughs> and weakly throws a javelin at the Akata. Alpha. Hey! Yeah! Please. Please Maybe not weak. Maybe like not weak. Alright. Arrow. Please. Ah. Well, someone else can kill it. Kill it, Mars. Unconscious. You cannot. Oh, I right. can't. I'm dead. <laughs> Kill it, Australia. And I failed my save. Kill it. Okay. Action. Shoving a potion of healing into friggin' Mars's throat. Alright. There's that. It's an action. You don't have to roll for it. You can just give him a 10. Wait, what? If you use the action, it just heals in full, right? A bonus action roll for it. Oh. Can yes. Well then. He could just he could just add two more. more. Yeah, just add two more, and then oh. did I give you max when you healed the? Oops. Didn't give our Dennis max when you healed him. I don't think. He got max himself. So you should add four more then, because I used an action to do that as well then. Arthanis. 
And then, oh. I'm, and then I'm gonna do my arrow at the last standing thing. Holy fucking hell. I'm fucking done. <laughs> I'm done. Well, since his, I quit. Since, <laughs> since his action works so well the last time, he's just, you know, Edna's just gonna advance to a flanking position. He's gonna do the same thing. He's just gonna punch this thing with his dagger. Nice. Okay. Oh. Same. Not enough to kill it, but enough to at least wound it a little bit further. Uh. Save, you can that action there, or that move. Well, I, I apologize. Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, I our dad just, just throws him off. <laughs> <laughs> I approved him, there was slight lag. All right. Arthanis, it's your turn, and your space has been stolen. No! I mean, I can back up if you need me to. <laughs> no. Just pretend I didn't move. All good in the hood. Um, do I get advantage because this guy's super flanked? Not. He's not flanked by you, and unfortunately, you do not. So I don't get advantage or super advantage? Man... Not a single kind of advantage. Again, I could I could have me where I could just step back at the end of my turn and still we could just have you. No, no, we're good, we're good. I was gonna say that's bullshit, but it's okay, you made it. God. <clears throat> and that'll be me turn. Will this thing ever die? No. How many lives will it claim? <laughs> we're we're All about of them. to find out. <laughs> It's, it starts with that tentacle smacking at Techno, hitting him, and he stays on his feet as the creature leaps forward and tries to bite him, and succeeds. He can't get to his throat, but it manages to tear a big chunk of flesh off of wherever fleshy spot it has access to. Greta. She has one failure, one success. Coming up with a another success. Not quite enough. Kashoot. What you got? Alright. Kashoot is going to move forward. Yep. Does she have any indirect flanking? I know from she doesn't there. have blinking in. From there, this... yes. I think you can pull that off. Okay. Barely, but Arthanis, unfortunately, the wall is not helping you out. As walls are cornered. To do. He is cornered. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> One of us will kill it. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> In like 18 more rounds. Your turn, no, Nalka. Nalka <laughs> drags themselves over there. <laughs> and it's going to swing the Morning Star at this creature with the flank. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Fucking yes. God. And then they promptly collapse to the ground. Oh. Mars will throw a potion of healing on your chest. Saying, I don't owe you anything now. Okay. <laughs> Keshut is going to move forward and pour a healing potion down in Dreda's throat. I will put her. Her at 10 hit points. Her max. So, walking into a strange wolf creature's lair, 
alone is not uh, a recipe for long life. I didn't know they were there. Now you did. Not just going to use an action to just drink that potion. Okay. I'm going right. back. Yeah, Tedna's going to use one of its potions for on himself. <laughs> I have noticed that I have not taken any exhaustion. Am I supposed to have exhaustion? I'm actively working on ch checking those right now. Okay. It's gonna take us Try to... it's like half the party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I'd have two. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Kazu is going to ask Andretta if she wants his dagger. Because it could have come in handy. She said she appreciates it, but she will only use her silver dagger. I'm going to tell her that is kind of crazy. We're kind of in a pickle here. We don't have many options. She understands the logic, but declines the dagger. Is it safe to assume I can recover those javelins, Tony? Javelins, yes. Okay. Can I recover any crossbow bolts? Unless they're magical? Unfortunately not. They are considered used. Well, darn. We need to... I think we need to hunker down and actually rest rest because yes, a yeah. lot of you guys definitely need it yeah well um i really can't do my job at keeping you guys all alive um one if you keep all dying but then two if i don't have any spell slots so i would really mm -hmm. like to go to sleep please yeah kazu needs his spell slots back too I would also like to be rejuvenated with my powers. Let's see if this room is defensible and we can rest in here. So, that room is full of shelves, lots of supplies on the shelves, lots of parts, things of that nature. Um, there are tools, hardware, buckets, mops, as well as more alchemical things, and things as normal as food supplies, more ingredients than they are, like, ready-made food. Hey, if we that can make useful. Some, hey, if we can make sandwiches, then, you know, hey. What kind of alchemical ingredients are there? Some uh, pretty basic ones used to start and mix a couple things if you have an alchemist kit you can replenish your supplies not that they're finite but yeah um uh, probably cook a bonus, I don't think our own potions of healing I don't think I can do that yet oh. that's a shame it's coming though so, this area doesn't have a door, per se. You could, uh, probably defend it, but there's not, like, any natural or built barriers. I guess we could go back to that other room. We had a door. We did pass this door up here. Go... So go search it and see I'm gonna listen listen uh, to the other side of the door okay there are no like holes you can listen through but you can put your ear up to it yeah I'll do that you put your ear up to it and there are no sounds that you can hear the door has a red indicator. Okay, I will attempt to pick it. You succeed. 
successfully pick the lock. Okay. I will open the door. Right. This uh, long-ish chamber is empty except for a single stone throne with a cushion upon it. Very strange furniture. I will slowly step into the room and search the room and investigate the room to see if to make sure that it's a safe room and see if there's anything weird with the room. There are no uh, level of weirdness, traps, or anything else secrets that you can detect. It seems a normal room with a single throne. Okay. I'm going to investigate the throne itself without touching it. Mm -hmm. Do you want investigation or perception? Because I'm not touching it. Perception, please. Okay. A fucking bugbear shows up. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> it's, in the just, it's in the just, cushions. He was sitting on the throne the whole time. We just didn't notice him. <laughs> right. It looks like it's been used, but very minimally. Okay, that's what all you can detect. All right. We should tell everyone to come in here, and we can close the door and defend it if need be. Once everyone's in, can I lock the door from this side? You can. All right, I'm gonna, required. I'm gonna shut the door and then lock it. Noted. <clears throat> we should hunker down in here, I guess. No argument here. All right. Long rest, I'm guessing. Yes, please. Yep. I shall apply a long rest, and I will go through and adjust as needed. I took off mage armor so you can reapply it as desired. Yep. Uh, I have to reroll sub control anyways. And he succeeds. Nauka, you feel better, but not back to normal, but you are starting to feel better. Mm -hmm. Andretta is feeling a lot better as she is starting to gain some of her uh, magical energy back. Everyone else, if you have the ability to change spells, now is the time to change them. Okay. Nope. Let's see. And Andretta takes the opportunity to ex expend a single potion. I'm sorry, a ch single spell slot. The only spell slot, I mean, on Nauka to cast a lesser restoration spell that she has. Oh, dang. She has one level two spell slot now that you guys have rested, and she is out of them. And she Reduces your exhaustion by one level. Very nice. Your do we level up? Craft. You do not. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is probably a fantastic time to 
call it and let you guys start your investigations next time. But you did manage to sleep and rest now that you've slain the matriarch. And some puppies. And also some puppies. I will also point out that you have explored the entire third floor. You found a supply area, some areas with some strange breezes. You found the portal, as well as a strange pit area. But nothing to activate the portal yet. Well, this is true. Admittedly, you guys haven't looked at the portal in any substantial way, but that is also true. Oh, that's fair. Hmm. Yeah, we could try hitting it like the guards did. No, I don't think we should do that. <laughs> could poke um, it with a stick. Call me crazy. You're crazy. Stick poking is I always mean, an option. It's fair, it's true. <laughs> But the, get, the sound effects. You, Go ahead, sorry. I guess you could say those Akata had the element of supplies. Ha ha. That was so bad, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime between now and next game, take a look at the themes that were shared there. Looks like some people already voted. I don't care. You can vote on them all if you want to. Pick the one you like. We'll, uh, I'll see if where I can you, pick it up. Where do you vote? Just want an emoji. Like a thumbs up emoji. Or something else. You can be different. Looks like the futuristic one is looking be in the lead. Mighty fine. Mm -hmm. Everybody can take a look. Pick the one you like. We'll see if we can replace this one. And we will pick up next week on Wednesday. And I will see you guys next time. Good game, everyone. Good game. Good. Yeah, GG, everybody. Shot the Congratulations, guys. Tyler and Alex. Oh, thank oh, you again. Thank you. Yeah. 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 And Congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. That's why I've been very, like, sleepy through the last couple of weeks of playing. Like, Create if you notice, like, my... Yeah, literally, like, I'll be laying here and I'll just be, like, falling asleep and then all of a sudden you're like, Astraea, did we lose you? And I'm like, huh? What? Oh, yeah. Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if I had to create human life, I probably would be sleepy too. Oh my god, I'm tired all the friggin' time. Yeah, me too. But that's because of my health issues. <laughs> well, you guys have a good week and enjoy the creation of life. Thank you, thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.